So apparently, I've been watching Simon the Bloke in the Woods' latest video, I'll put a link up. This is actually a, a water pit for, well, a fire pit for, it used to fill water in case the bone rays got bad and they could use that to put out fires, which I did not know. But yeah, so they hold water pretty well. This one's always been got dumped in though. But yeah, little known fact. It's a fire pit for water in Zero Mobile 2 because obviously I'm in Fox Coldwood. You can see one of the bunkers there. And there's one back there as well if you can see it. It's raised up there. But yeah, so interesting fact. I'll link Simon's video in the in the in here somewhere. You can check it out. It's pretty good. He's on the old bomber base. So quite interesting. Watch as well. Alright. How you doing guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. It's been a while since I put one up. But today I'm out in my local, local woodland over in Fox Cover. I'm sat in what is the drinkers fucking little section because in Fox Cover there's a few old RAF bunkers one sat behind us and they use it for obviously party and stuff they've done actually quite well I'll put up a little short one about what they've done here but I'm just going to do a quick kit load out so something everybody does today I've got my LK35 which is pretty much my standard one for going out for day trips and I take them on overnighters as well it's just a brilliant kit so this probably this is going to be a standard load out for what I'll take a day in the woods or a morning in the woods. So, because it's winter, but I'm taking it anyway, I've got my hat, gloves, and my shamag. They always come out with me, no matter what, because they're just, well, you need them. It gets cold, whatever. I mean, this hat's just a cheapy, low, low alpine knockoff, but it's got a waterproof cover, nicely, nicely insulated. I've got caramel gloves and my shamag. Next go, cook set. You always need something to drink out of. I've got this, or I've got my Crusader mug. As you've seen in previous videos, I do like my Crusader. Just hang over when I have the reserves, really. Good old Trangia kettle, you kind of beat it. Bomb proof piece of kit. I love it to bits. This is near the airport, so you're gonna get all, all sorts coming in. Also got my Trangia burner, which I've stuck it inside, just to save space. I repurposed a mouthwash bottle. There's my milk bottle. Still thinks it's mouthwash, but doesn't taint the milk too much. Good little bit of uh, reusing. Good old Osprey, milk, Osprey bottle. I can only take two liters. I've got this in my SIG bottle, but just come on out for the morning when I got one with this. But does the job. Bomb proof piece of kit as well. Now, my other half hates this, but it's free. And if, you, if anybody watching those Geordies, out for now. You get it for free, you're gonna use it, aren't you? So I'm probably gonna use this and then use the container for something. The all encompassing gloves. Great pair of gloves. Stanley driver gloves. Great for around the fire, picking things up that are hot. Fiver. So if you have a new pair of gloves, don't go, don't go spend too much when you don't need to. Cheap as chips, work, does the job. Got my usual brew kit. Got like coffee, it's got all sorts in it tissues, tea bags, whiteners, energy drinks, coffee, sugar, everything from an old uh, British, British ration pack. So, if you know them, you know what the crack is. Got a mess again, just a little bag, keep it in case it spills. So that's that's the old um, Swedish military one, go to Swedish military change here. So, good kit, lasts forever as well. And this is something I take with us regularly enough, it's my foraging bag, so I can loop it on my belt and it opens up nicely. Which I'm actually going to put, I've got some cramp balls put in there actually. So I know this wooden's good for it because it's got ash trees. Get good old Elfers cakes and cramp balls. So I've got a few of them to dry out a bit more, put in my tinder pouch, so I'll put them in there now. So they're out of the way. But yeah, they're great for taking a spark. Great for adding to, adding to get things up, but age old. Alfred's cakes. Good bit of noise there. I've got my lens covers and binoculars, they're not in my bag, but obviously I do take them regularly. First aid kit, a must no matter what. I do have things, first aid things in my possible pouch. Um or my belt pouches, you know, possible pouches, I don't quite like the phrase, but it's a belt pouch. So you can bits and bobs in it. 
but that's my <laughs> that's been with me for god knows how long probably if you ever watch if you ever go and see see, see Seamus go on Instagram and see Seamus the hermit in the woods he goes about kit that he's had for donkeys I've had this for donkeys I've had my shamag for donkeys um it's probably around since I was in scouts actually um and what else he had yeah the shamag which I've had for probably the same amount as this thing I'm trying to think what else would be longest standing kit I've ever had I'll come back to that anyway this is my belt pouch my possible pouch it's a German handcrafts quick was a birthday present but I've got all sorts in here like so I've got a there's me the first day of it. It's an Israeli bandage, thanks to Grazy from uh, Northern Outdoor Bushcraft and, and Survival. He's a medic and he gave me one of these. I've got strikers, torch, cordage, extra knife, sharpened tool, some tinder, just bits and bobs that I can stick in my belt if I need to. Also, it's great for foraging that one as well. Good heavy duty stuff. Ha German handcuffs, great, great pieces of kit. I've got my fire kit. She's got all sorts of fire starters and stuff in Tinder if I need it. No one else is in there actually. Actually, I don't even think I've got a lighter in there, so that reminds us. This one thing I've done this video for as well is uh, helps me to refine my kit if I need to. And if if I need a shelter, I've got my top DD 3x3. I am going to find a stuff sack to put this in because this thing just is too big in its own stuff sack, so I'm going to try and get a, like a canoe bag, roll down one so I can squish it down. But that's a bomb proof piece of kit. I would advise anybody who wants to use a tarp get a 3x3 DD. They're great, you can do all sorts with them. They're versatile, you can have as a, a, a small camp top if you need to, you've got tents. Um, so yeah, great piece of kit. And I've brought with my honey stove. So this one I'm gonna be using in a minute or later on for brewing up, having a brew. So I'm gonna put the transier in that and put the kettle on top. But British made, good piece of kit, cheap, not very heavy to be honest. People bang on about titanium this, titanium that. Doesn't really matter. If you're willing to carry it and it works, who cares? Unless you're an ultra light crazy person. Then I got a couple of books with this. I mean, I've got a bear book and I've got a brush car 101, but that's just because I'm doing some stuff in here. Um, oh, and of course, a spoon. This is my racing spoon from when I was in the reserves. Feel gone again, titanium. Plastic, much lighter than titanium. Admittedly, it melts, but it's much lighter. As long as you look, at, look after it. I've also got a knife and my saw. So, back of lap blender and the Mora HD. Probably two of the most essential pieces of kit if you want to start in bushcraft. And they come, if you go on bushcraft store, they do do them in like a pack. So, you get the knife and the saw. Great piece of kit. I don't think I'll be using them much today, but just in case. And I've got my ridge line. So that is generally what I take on a day in the woods. Maybe if overnight if possibly. I obviously had a sleep system to it, um, and some food. But I haven't got any food with this today. Just for just a brew kit. But that's my kit low kit kit loadout. Not very much really. LK35 looks huge, but that's because I've got the foam in it. Um but yeah, you don't have to carry loads. And as the saying goes, the more the more you know the less you carry. So I'm looking possibly to look back at this video and go, right, what can I change? What can I take out? What can I make? What did I need? What, what didn't I need for a day in the woods? But thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to see some more. I know it's been a while since I put a video out, but I'm going to be putting some more out. Just work's got in the way recently. Um, and hopefully I'll be getting back, in the, back out in the woods on a regular basis. Through the winter, maybe get a hot tent going. Maybe get out for a couple of camps, overnight camps. Um, but we'll see. So stay tuned. Cheers for watching. So it's bloody cold in the woods today. I mean, it's going to be even colder when I get out the, out of the woods in the field. But a nice little jaunt. Got your shamag on. There's one for you, Seamus. Um, but I've got a few projects on the horizon. One for this bad boy here in the winter. Maybe a few other things crack on with. We're going to try and get out and do some camps. I might just do it up at uh, oh, Brockwell Woods, which is a, it's a wild camp, inverted commas, wild camp. It's a place you can hire out places. Been up there with Grazy a few times, been up there with Sam. So some of my videos I've made from. Just a, it's a safe space, we don't have to have a dalliance with getting 
landlord is permission we'll have eating our fires up there and stay for nights. Cheap as chips. And it's pretty much well because the spots aren't maintained really. They're only maintained by people who go up there regular and use the same spot over and over again. That's the main thing up there. But that's where I should be doing some more of my videos. I'm going to try and do a camp, hopefully, out here at Fox Cover. Um, because I've done a chat with Lundy from Lundy's Wild, Wild Camp. No, yeah, Lundy's Wild Camp in Bushcraft. Check out his channel, great channel. Um, good northeast lad. Uh, he says he, he's his regular woods up here, which is quite which surprised me. Small world and all that. He's got his no fishing woods up here, but that he's been up the Fox Cover before, and that it's generally all right. Inverted commas again, all right to be up here, as long as you're not causing too much bother and getting told off by a security lot who do it from the airport, because it's right near the airport. And obviously, that's a security issue for most people, is the airport. I will be as well, since I am attempting to join the police. So security thing will be is on my mind, but we'll see. Anyways, so, there should be some projects coming up. Some nice, uh, interesting ones for doing and as you can see I'm out in the not so much woody wilds but they are pretty windy some baby heads about but I hope so till next time guys catch you later